So what is going on now? What's happening in Louisville? Well, we've got a lot. So let's take a look at some of the immediate reaction. We see protests are already forming. This is taking place literally right. This happened right after the announcement this afternoon. Let's take a look. So can you hear what they're saying? We didn't get it. Burn it down. We didn't get it. Burn it down is what they're saying. We didn't get it. Burn it down. Something to that effect. So uh, obviously, you know, not not trending in a very optimistic direction in terms of the protesters. They also came very, very prepared. Have you seen this clip floating around on Twitter? As soon as the announcement was made, it's weird. We have all these U-Haul trucks just around and they're just ready to go. Signs ready to rock and roll. Hey, hey, somebody with me on this. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. A lot of people out there. Yeah, so I, I've said it before, I've said it again. I don't know what abolishing the police or defunding the police is going to do for anybody. Everybody's upset that there was a tragedy about Breonna Taylor. Burning building downs, breaking things, you know, killing people, injuring people, that is not going to help this country move the ball forward on criminal justice reform issues. For a very long time, I've disavowed all of the rioters and, and quite frankly, all of the protesters because they are in too close proximity with the rioters. If you have a bunch of peaceful protesters who are hanging out with a bunch of people who are burning things down, by association, you are no longer a peaceful protester. Unless you're doing something to stop them from, from committing crimes or for breaking things, you're just as bad as them. It's the same standard that I've applied towards the police. If there's one bad officer who shoots and kills somebody or who beats somebody or do, who does something wrong, you've got one bad cop. But if you've got 10 of those cops associates, 10 other cops, 10 people in the department, the chief, the sergeant, the lieutenants, if those people are covering for that one bad cop, they're just as bad as that bad cop. Same rule applies to the protesters. It's unacceptable for them to be just standing there with their sign peacefully protesting, but not condemning their neighbor who's throwing rocks and burning uh, you know, innocent buildings down, innocent courts down, and just ruining the society in which they live. It's not okay. So the same standard has to apply. We have more protests developing in Louisville. Let's take a look. All right, so we can see it's just going to continue to go on and on. We are learning that YouTube is also shutting down the live streamers in Louisville. Let's take a look over here. YouTube, this, we just saw this this afternoon as well. YouTube is shutting down the live streamers in Louisville. Hopefully this stream is going on loud and clear, but you know it's going to be something that we're going to continue to follow. Like I said, literally right now, I checked the sundown time in Louisville, Kentucky. It was 739 uh, their time, which is about right now, I think. So it's probably heating up and we're going to continue to, you know, to follow the story. Hopefully it's quiet. Hopefully, you know, nobody gets hurt. Nobody burns down anything and everybody just kind of can vent their frustration peacefully. That's what we want to see because anytime, you know, the country gets unified around these tragedies, around George Floyd, everybody watched that video and was sick over it. You know, everybody looks at that Breonna Taylor picture and they're sick over it. They want to see meaningful improvements being made but when we're just burning down buildings it sets down it sets the justice reform movement back 10 years suddenly everybody who was on our side everybody who was sympathetic with civil liberties and seeing some you know some some modest reforms to our law enforcement agencies they are all the pendulum is swinging the other way they are now saying those people are animals those people are monsters and the police are heroes so it goes it, it just it reverts back and it sets us back and it's just really unfortunate and i hope that, you know, I hope it's not the same story. We're expecting a certain story to take place in Louisville tonight, but I hope that that does not happen.